This is uh, Heidi's Farm Stand and Bakery. I run this with my twin brother and his wife, Aaron and Laura. Uh, we started here in 2006 selling produce out front and putting in a couple acres of tomatoes and just extended from there. We work with quite a number of other growers for fruits. We grow almost all of our own vegetables. And my job is to get everything in from the field and help out in the market occasionally. In 2008, we made the decision to go with a bakery. It was a much longer process than we had imagined. We didn't have anybody in the family that had, that had experience in the food preparation industry. And so you're, you're know, just trying to size stuff out, trying to figure out how to make things flow, you know, what's going to work, what assumptions to work with. Not all of them are right. Um, worked with Baker Equipment Design here in Grand Rapids. He sat down with us took what, we, what ideas we had and said, you're going to need to get a lot more throughput than that. Instead of a series of convection ovens, you'd better put a rack oven in. <laughs> it was oversized for 2010 and half of 2011. And this last year, you know, we're looking at how to increase the capacity. But we started out, we were very fortunate to have good guidance on that and on sizing when we started. The biggest thing the bakery does is it gives you a consistent, uh, you know, consistent market every day. What we are a commuter market here, which means nothing is high end. We're not talking artisan breads. We're talking two dollars and ten cent white loaf, white loaf of bread, three dollar English muffin bread. And what it, what we really run into in this market is somebody goes shopping at Myers, does their grocery shopping. They've been, it's been four or five days, they're low on milk, they're low on bread, they're low on produce. They come in twice before they go the next time to Myers, And that has become our target market, which means nothing is high end, nothing's low end. It's all about quality and value.